Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to add add to number provided by the user. Okay, so here, what does it mean the number provided the user? Yeah, so here, indeed, of hard coding the number show, we will allow the user to input the number from the keyboard, and then we buy on that number to do some the calculator. Okay, so now, let's get started. I will open the Visual Studio course on my PC. Yeah. I'm going to create a new Python file here. I will enter it with the name E at at number uh provide by user dot p y. Okay. So here I will have two number. The number one and the number two and then we do some uh the calculator for number two as number one okay so here at uh, step one i will have number one equal input and uh, number one okay copy this one we use input input The input will be waiting for the user to enter the values from the keyboard. Okay. The first one is a step to declare declare the input number. Okay. The second step is to calculator. I have a sum equals number one as number two okay something like this okay so the last one will be print now print the result okay so i have a print total or sum sum i have a number one additional number two equal okay so now i will do the format okay is we will have format no no so i have a number one number two and some yeah okay i save this one and then i will try to run it run this one yeah so here you take a look into the terminator we have the message is enter number one yeah it will be waiting until the user enter the value from the keyboard okay so here i'm going to enter some the value here the is this number five enter number two ten yeah. so here you have a non tie it is incorrect right number one number two and we have three most reasons format number is incorrect okay so how to resolve the issue for now okay it should be okay save it again i clear the terminator run it again and turn number two three yeah so for now you see here it is calculated it is incorrect it is merging the data okay good so here for example if i enter some the text here it will it will also merging the data in this of the do the, do the calculator sum here okay run it again a and two yeah should be a two okay so here we need to have some the format for this one float for number one and float number two save it and run it again enter that one two it should be three okay 
and here if I enter the text number here it did not exist so what happened okay a and two so the error message will be displayed it says that we could not convert a string to float okay good so here I'll run it one more time for testing we have uh, one ten thousand and five thousand yeah fifteen thousand okay okay it's working fine so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to do the calculator for two number and the dynamic list by the user from the keyboard yeah in order to allow the user to enter the dynamic value from the keyboard we will use the input function in the python okay okay so we also know how to do some formatting for the number yeah we also do the command for for the shortcode here we are we are going to do the commands only the single line so if we if you want to do the command for a multiple line show how to do it yeah okay so here for example if you want to do the uh, command for for for, for two, two line here show how to do it yeah it is support the special quotation marks okay here okay and here yeah if i save this one and run this again it will be error message because we don't have the value for number one and number two and this code it has been commented and it does not appear in the uh, it, it does not appear in the short code and we cannot do some the uh, declare the inputs for the number to do calculation okay i remove this one save it run it again okay okay again thank you for watching and bye bye See you guys in the next video.